Hey everybody and welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Today we're going to be showing you how to make creamy lentils with mushrooms and kale. Cue the music. Thanks a lot for joining us today. I appreciate you being here from whatever platform you're joining us from. Don't forget to leave a comment. Go ahead and like us, subscribe to our channel, and then share this video and this channel with everybody you know. All right, like I said, we're gonna be making creamy lentils with mushrooms and kale. Let's drop down here and see what we've got in our recipe here. We have got three quarter cups of dried lentils, one tablespoon of olive oil, one shallot that we diced, one pound of mushrooms that we sliced, two cloves of minced garlic, two teaspoons of dried thyme, one tablespoon of ketchup, two tablespoons of white wine, two teaspoons of soy sauce, one and a half cups of chicken stock, a third of a cup of heavy cream, two cups of sliced kale leaves, and a little bit of salt and pepper to season it along the way. This recipe is down in the description box, the first pinned comment. Don't forget to check that out after you've watched the show to get the recipe for this. All right, I've done most of the prep. Let's head over to the stove and start cooking. All right, we've got our pan, we've got our mise en place back there with our mushroom shallots, oil, water, our utensils, all the sauces we're gonna use, and our kale back there in the background. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus on our pan here and we will start cooking. All right, before we start cooking everything else, the lentils go in first, you fill up a pan, quart of water, throw your uh, lentils in there too, bring it to a boil, turn it down to simmer, and then just let them cook just shy of being uh, soft like we see here. You can go ahead and take them out and pinch them a little bit. You can see if they're still hard, let them cook a little longer. If they're not, go ahead and just pull them out, rinse them off with cold water and set them aside because we're gonna throw those in later. All right, we've got our pan in here. We've got it hot. I'm gonna go ahead and throw our oil into our pan here. Next thing we're gonna do is throw our shallots. Our mushrooms. A little bit of salt and pepper in there. <coughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this. Let those mushrooms start to steam up and break down a little bit and then we'll start stirring it up. All right. Let's see what we got here. Everything's kind of breaking down here. Shallots are cooking, mushrooms are smoothing out shrinking a little bit so we can stir them up. I'm going to go ahead and add a little salt and pepper, our garlic. Throw that thyme in there. Stir this all up until we get some fragrance off of it. All right, that's smelling really good. Take our ketchup, throw that right in there. Stir that up real well. Leave the heat on high. So that can all cook together. Get this stuff out of the way here. All right, we got the heat going. We got about a minute into it, minute and a half. I'm gonna, I mix the soy sauce and the white wine together. What we're gonna do, we're gonna throw that right in there. Not really a deglaze, but it's adding flavor into it. And that's gonna reduce down into this whole dish here. Oh, that smells fantastic, wow. All right, now we're gonna add our lentils that we drained and then chilled a little bit so they stop cooking. Stir those in. I've got water, one and a half cups of water here and our chicken base. And I'm just gonna add this right into our, our water here. Use a whisk, whisk it all up so we got some nice stock. And that's going right in. Just stir this up a little bit. 
bring this to a boil. Now even if the lentils, when you pinched them and checked them, if they're not quite all the way tender yet, if they're a little bit hard, they're going to continue cooking in here, even though we've shocked them cold when we rinse them. We're going to simmer this because we're going to add our kale and we have to let that break down. So this is going to simmer for another probably 10-15 more minutes. But anyway, we've got this at a boil now. I'm going to go ahead and add our cream. We're going to stir this in completely. And like I said, we're going to add our kale, which you see here I shredded, or, sorry, I chiffonnaded all the kale so it's easy to break down. I'm just going to throw it right on top. Put the lid on it and I'm going to turn the heat down to a simmer and we're going to let that go. All right, so we've got a boil going on here. See that kale is breaking up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and stir it right into this dish. Let it cook in there with that. Cover it up. Let it cook a little longer. We got about five, ten more minutes until I'm comfortable with the kale being broken down as much as I'd like it to be. Um, then we're going to come back. I got some polenta. We're going to plate it up. We're going to take some pictures of it for social media. Throw some music into the timeline with that. Enjoy those pictures and enjoy the music. And then we come back. We're going to give this a taste. Let you know how it is. shots. Let me tell you this smells fantastic. So I'm sure it's going to taste as wonderful as it smells. So I'm going to start with a little bit of the juice, the lentils, and the polenta in there. Mm. A lot of textures. You got the smoothness of the polenta, creaminess of that sauce, a little bit of bite from the lentils. I don't know what you would explain with the kale chewiness, maybe, but oh, I think it's got some good, good flavor to it. Mm. Yeah, this is really, really good. You get a mushroom on that one, right there. Fantastic. Fantastic. Those portobellos. Can't taste the thick the place of meat, but it sure does offer an option for a meat replacement. If you want to go meatless one night, these mushrooms are awesome. That polenta. Hmm. Well, I don't know where it's coming from. It tastes like it's got bacon in it to me, but it could be my imagination. One more bite. Beautiful dish, easy to make. Mm. You won't regret it. This will fill you up. It's really good. Don't forget that recipe is down in the description box or the first pinned comment. We got creamy lentils with mushrooms and kale served over polenta. Take care of yourselves. We'll see you next time. Uh, these rappers don't listen. Well, let me show them something. You hear that beat bumping, bumping from the soul kitchen. Now what you fixin' up? Good food, soul food, come and pick it up These rappers don't listen, well let me show them something You hear that beat bumpin', bumpin' from the soul kitchen uh -huh.